one, two, and three. Yo, if you're a streamer and you play on the PC with a control, you definitely need the Envision Pro's cuff, bro. Because with this thing, you can switch between scenes just by pressing any of these buttons, whatever you set it to. You could even change scenes, you could mute your mic, or you could even launch an app, bro. I'm about to show you how to do it, and I'm about to show you some tips and tricks, so make sure to watch the whole video. All right, so go ahead and open up the program. Once you're here and you have the software, all you have to do is go to, go to mapping, right? And this is all the buttons in the bottom right here where I showed you earlier, which is gonna be G1, G2, G3, G4, and G5, okay? So what you wanna do is, you could, have, you could do it two different ways. You could just go ahead and click right here and then all this option is gonna show, which is gamepad. So this options right here, this is what you can assign to that a specific button. So you could, you have, action d-pad triggers bumper thumbstick a microphone and eco mode then remap you have the keyboard land keys mouse keystroke and disabled so disable if you having any troubles with the side button that you're touching it by mistake or such and such and you want to disable any of these buttons right here that way it doesn't bother or for any reason then you could just click right here and disable then you have other assignments which you could even add to like a key bind to text media even launch an app which i'm about to get to it later on launch an app profile switching and micro so you could do it this way you could just click it on right here then remap then click on keyboard once you click on keyboard it is already selected see that that's g1 that's the first one right here which is this one that's gonna be that one okay so then you could just assign it to one key which is gonna be maybe one and if you want this keyboard to be even bigger you could just press right here and then it just pops up now if you don't want to do it through here it's easier let's say if we delete it right all you have to do is just go to mapping custom then you press right here create like a mapping then from here you're gonna select keyboard on this side then whenever you press right here to be able to assign any of the buttons so let's say you click it right there where it said button and then you could assign it to g1 see that's one let's say if you want to um deselect click it again then you have the second one g2 see so how it's always popping up in here then deselect and then you get g3 okay so that's how pretty much you set it up so let's say if i want to set it up to g1 i just put right here boom now we're gonna set up these keys right now i'm about to show you how to switch scenes on the stream lab which i'm about to show you in a second so right here the first one is gonna let's set it up to one right let's just call it one then to be able to get the second key you have to create another custom right there you do the same thing boom then go right here keyboard then click on it then set it to the second one and then let's say two then the third one this is just an example so you guys can check it out you do the same steps keyboard press it again then you press on the third one boom then this is gonna be key three now this one so i'm gonna set it up to for different scenes as an example and i'm about to create a fourth one which is gonna be how to launch an app so let's create the key to launch an app same thing you click it right there make another mapping then you want to go right here like i said you have so many other options that you could do whatever you want bro so let's just click right here launch an app and then here this is you're gonna click it and then select the key again i'm gonna select it as g4 which is the fourth one right here boom then here is gonna tell you which app you want to select you could even select your own app from the ones that you already have or you can have one of this pre-select one let's just say i want web browser and then i would want to put my url code for my like my kick channel right so boom right there set it up so right now this is automatically saved right there this is how you set up the key from the controller to the stream lab or either the same step as for obs or whatever stream platform you use so let's say i'm using the stream labs boom i open it up then you want to go to hotkeys once you're in hotkeys then you got to look for scenes then here let's say for example i want to choose this one too so i could just switch intermission then you go all the way down and then you go right here switch to scene so i'm gonna just set it to one so it's gonna be this one right here g1 right boom then I'm going to do the next one, which is going to be a starting soon. I go all the way to the bottom. Same thing. Go to switch scenes. Click on it. Then that's going to be G2. Then the third one is going to be the be right back scene. And then I'm going to go all the way down. 
click it right there then that's gonna be scene three boom once you have all of them selected all you have to do is just click done and then now let's test it out so right there i mean one scene i'm not look i have both hands right there so if i press one it's gonna change to the first scene boom see that's one then second second key and then the third one third key right there see that so quick right here again one two and three now if you want to launch an app go ahead and press the number four that's what i assigned it to boom see that any app will open even your game you can send it to your game discord whatever you want bro so right there you have the web browser open and yeah as you guys can see this is my channel right here and i have um this is my kick channel and i have 48 followers yo at 200 followers on kick i will be doing the brand new xbox series x giveaway so make sure to follow this account real quick because i also want to grow here as well on live streaming because i will be doing a lot of live streams and make sure to turn bell notification on and definitely make sure to like this video and from what i know this feature only works in a single streaming pc because you will only you will be using the controller on that same exact pc so now for example like me i play on a dual pc right so i have the controller on the gaming monitor and my streaming pc is on the other one so this one cannot control my streaming pc you know so i will have to be in the same exact streaming pc so i will have to be on a single streaming pc so this feature can work just how i show you right now and that's exactly how i did it anyways let me know in the comments below what you think about this idea and this feature that they just implemented in the control i think it's really really nice because sometimes if you want to switch scenes on the stream you don't want to like let go your hand and just touch your your stream deck you know this is pretty much a stream deck in your hand basically you know so you could do everything from here and that's the dope part about it let me know your thoughts in the comments below yo and you guys are going nuts on the amount of like that i'm getting on the other videos bro i didn't even know i was gonna be able to be getting so many likes since i'm just a, you know i'm just a small channel but i really 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 appreciate all the support that you guys are giving me and of course make sure to subscribe for more so on this video i'm about to show you so on this video, I'm about to show you two. Oh my god! On this video. So on this video, hold on, let me see. So on this video, I'm about to show you how to do it, and I'm about to show you some tips or, and I'm about to show you some tips. Oh my fucking shit! Holy fuck. And I'm about to give you some tips and tricks. So make sure to stay dog.